Good morning. You are watching the Faces of Change. I'm joined here today by Mr. Quincy Davis. We're going to dive into his story in just a second. I'm glad that you're here. So just like we talked about, I have some questions I want to ask you. Your involvement in the community and most importantly, your vision for the future. So let's get down to business and let's talk about the wonderful things that you're doing. Okay. How long have you lived here in Albany, Georgia? Well, I lived here from an early age. I grew up some a lot in Miami, Florida, but I've been here since I uh, a kid, since I was a young baby. Now, so. do you have family that, that moved here with you? Was it yes, just yes, you? just me and my mom. Just me and my mom and my brother okay. moved here. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, now I, I see a lot of things on social media and what's going on with you, and I try to keep track up to date um, just because the inspiration you've been in my life. Okay. I saw that you had a competition this past weekend. Let's talk about what is your passion and what are you doing to chase your dreams um yeah i had, had a competition this weekend it was in atlanta it was in atlanta georgia uh was the coastals npc classics uh, i placed first in my class which was a blessing it was, Wonderful. Which was, it was a true blessing uh i also won best abs which was a shock it was, <laughs> it was a shock i laughed and i thought that was i thought that was a blessing well also, deserved well deserved i appreciate it i appreciate it but um my passion is i, I love what i do um i hear people complaining or or not knowing the correct way to lose weight or to get in shape. I love what I do. I love telling people the correct way, um, helping people find a better path for themselves. Everyone is different. I have to explain people when they walk into my gym, everything that you do is not going to be the same that this person does. You have to you have to take your path differently. Some people have to some people can walk and lose weight. Some people can change a diet and lose weight. But my passion is showing everybody the correct way to do it. For Amen, them, absolutely. For them. So I also see a lot of your, your live videos, and I know that you're also a Doherty County High yes. alumni, and I yes. see your involvement there. Talk to us about what you do with the kids out there. Yes, I well, I was again, I was blessed, and, I was blessed and fortunate enough to be asked to come over and um, help them with their strength and conditioning. Um, I'm, you know, I'm an alumni of Doherty High, class of '96. What's going on? <laughs> um, I love what I do for those kids, man. Um, you should see and hear the response that those kids and the feedback those kids give me when I go over. And I, I explained to someone the other day, I, I do it for no accolades. I do it for no pats on the back. Um, I do it because, in a sense, I'm, I'm almost obligated. Mm -hmm. I was blessed with the knowledge, uh, with the capabilities to do the things that I can do, so why not give back? Absolutely. You know, like I said, I love what I do. I love helping these kids. I love talking to them, and I'll stay after after class, and we'll talk, and we'll just have discussions about open discussions about anything, and I love it. And I love yeah. what I do. Now, digging a little bit more personally, I know that uh, some of the comments on some of your videos and some of your pictures say that you bear remark remarkable resemblance to your father. And uh, so, let's talk about that. You know, like what? How does that work? And yeah, and <laughs> my, my dad, my dad, uh, I lost my dad. My brother and my sister and I, we lost our dad at a, a very very young age. He was forty nine years old. Great man, great man, as well as my mom. Um, but great man. Um, I try to do and live by the things my dad told me. Um, you know, you never burn your bridges. You never know when you're going to get it. You never know when you're going to need to go back across them. Um, and I try to, what I tell you today, I try to remember to tell you tomorrow. So, you know, my dad was a very stern man. What he said, he meant. And as I get older, I try to, I try to stay, you know, in that, in that lane. So, um, I miss my dad. Very, very, very great man. Very yeah. great man. I'm sorry for your loss, but obviously he was a great man, and you're following right in his footsteps. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, I mean, also tell us about your gym. I know that you're you're a business owner here in town and right, right in the thriving community downtown. You have your own gym. Tell us yeah. about it. Yeah, well, the name of the gym is Fit Nation. It's at 110 North Washington. We've been there four years. We're a fully functional gym. We have personal trainers, men and women's locker rooms, showers. We're open up Monday through Friday from 5 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. And on Saturdays, we open up from 8, p 8 a.m., Till 5 p.m. and on Sundays we're not we're not currently open. We're going to go to our our winter times where we're going to be open on Sundays from about eight to five. Also, okay, wonderful. So, last and final question. I appreciate your time. I really do. Hey, Let's talk no about uh, where do you see Albany going from here, and then how do you feel like you fit into the equation? I know you've got a lot going on between your own personal drive and commitment to personal training, chasing your own dreams as a bodybuilder and physique competitor, and right. then helping out the kids. Where do you see Albany moving forward to, and how do you want to be a part of it? Albany, Albany can grow in it, and I see it growing. But we have to, we have to go from where we used to be, if that makes any sense, mm -hmm. to where we should be. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a great college here in Albany State. They really do. Um, you know, we need to utilize what we have as far as the younger generation. Um, we cannot still be stuck in in the golden age. Um, there are a lot of great young guys and, and and ladies out here who have great ideas for great businesses. We sh they should be allowed 
to to help get Albany some change. You know, we can't grow if we're still trying to live like our grandparents and our great grandparents. It, you're gonna you, we're gonna keep some divide if we keep that. Absolutely. You know, the younger generations, although they're 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 very headstrong, but I feel like if we can kind of piggyback what they what they're doing, Albany will grow and it will grow in a very exponential rate. Absolutely. How do you want to be a part of that? Where do you kind of see yourself fit into the equation? Any any way I can help and fit in, you know, by by helping the younger just generation, like I said, learn about health and fitness, uh, learn how to um, take care of each other. Um, just any way I can, Travis. You know, you know how I am. I mean, Absolutely. you know, from the first time I met you, brother, mm-hmm. I, you know, we 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 hit it off. Just always looking for an opportunity. Yeah, to just serve. always any anything I can do to help. You know, from um, from middle schools elementary schools if, if they need help with conditioning baseball teams I'm, I'm helping I'm doing drawdy roofing their baseball team my my, mm. my shout out to my nephew Cameron Davis <laughs> you know he made um the USA baseball team he's the only kid out of Georgia to make wow. that team so um any way I can help man I'm I'm, Wonderful. I'm I'm trying to do it well this is definitely a testament to your willingness to serve we want to thank you so much for being on our show the I, faces of change I, I thank you Travis thank <laughs> you. I really do man Fit Nation, thank you man Thank you. And we'll come to you guys next time with another wonderful episode of our hometown heroes. You're watching The Faces of Change.